Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Roger Eastlick once again with businesswebsiteceo.com and we are setting up our Parallax Pro Genesis Child theme and in this uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to just create a, a blog post for it in preparation to um, create a blog page and, um, and to fix it up. So uh, very simple, you go in your dashboard where we left off, you're going to go to uh, under post you can you can click on add new or up here at the quick access you can hover over the quick access access button and then hover o over post to click it and click on post it'll give you the new the add new post dialog box here what we're gonna do is we're gonna t entitle this this blog post behind the scenes so that's what we're gonna type in for the title we are going to then I'm just going to grab some text this could be the text you can grab from the demo that's what they use um, or you could also um, just you know put in your own text I think it's really good that you actually go through this whole exercise before you try to set up your own site designed and everything just so you get a feel for what you can do and what the boundaries are so you're not gonna try to do something that's really way outside of the scope of what's here and what that what this particular theme will do and yet you can kind of um, you understand everything you can do so you don't leave anything out that, that otherwise would be cool to put in there so I'm going to paste some text in here you notice I'm on the visual tab at this point there's a visual tab and a text tab right here and um, cool thing about it is the WordPress, the cool thing is that WordPress or yeah, WordPress has this what you see is what you get visual editor here and it will actually generate the back end HTML code or markup language um, automatically. So for example, let's say that I want to say that you know this is bold and let's say I want to say it's a WordPress and I'm going to say that's italic. Okay, and now if I click over here to the text side, I've got the HTML markup tag strong for for the the bold and the emphasis for the italic um, tags there. I don't even have to worry about it, so that's really cool. Um, you've got you can also you've got a lot of different things you can do uh, bulleted lists, uh, ordered lists, numbered lists. You can align left, align right. You can put links in. You can toggle this uh, double line of different things on and off of, for additional features. One more thing we're going to do here is we're going to also add an image. So maybe I'll take that off. And so what I'm going to do is up here at the add media, I'm going to click on add media. And I don't have anything in here yet. So what I'm going to do is I am going to actually click on uh, select files. Okay, and I'm going to go into my images. Now, these images, I'll I'll put a uh, I'll put links to these images. These are basically uh, what do they call it? Creative Commons licensed images. So they're not my images, but they also are sort of free to use out there. So if you want to use these same same images, there will be a link down below the uh, down below the post. And if you just want to use any images, then you can do that. Probably want to use these images because they are kind of color calibrated to what we're doing. But and like I say, just be easy. Go out, go out there, download them, and then you can um, go ahead and use them without any kind of problems. So I'm going to go ahead and and um, what I want for this particular picture is this picture right here called Old Books. Uh, Gold Fiskin. It's a bunch of books, and I'm going to click on Open. That brings it into the Media Gallery, which is kind of cool. Over here, you've got a, a title and an alternate text. I highly recommend that you use both a title and an alternate text. It is good for SEO. And down here, if we scroll down a little bit, we want alignment to be left. That is where I want to. The link to, I'm going to say I don't want it to link anywhere. And um, we're going to use a, I 
think we're going to use a 150 by 150 thumbnail and see what that looks like. Then I click on insert post, insert into post, and this is what it looks like. Now all I have to do now is, of course over here to the right I can I can create categories if I want to. Let's say we want to add a new category and call this the blog category. All right, now I've got a blog category created and it's selected so it's going to be put into that, that category. And what I can do is I can also use tags. So let's say that we're going to have, we could have one for fiction. We, we could have one for adventure. And we could have one for biography. Now you'll notice that as I wrote, wrote these in, I separated the tags with commas. And then you just click add or hit enter or return. And now I have tags associated fixture, adventure, and biography with it. <clears throat> you can also set a featured image, something we're not going to do in this particular video, but you could do that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the publish button. Publish that post. And there's one more thing I want to do here. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that is to change the permalinks. You'll notice right here, you've got a permalink uh, domain name forward slash question mark p equals 14. Not very good for um, you know SEO. Not very good when people see the link to say to give them an idea of what they're looking at. So we're going to click on this change permalinks button right here, and we're going to go down and click on post name. That makes it so after the domain name, it uses the title, or you can edit that part of a title or anything you want as the um, as the URL in the URL it makes it much better for for SEO as well as it makes it better for people to see and understand so once you've checked the radio button for post name scroll down click on save changes and then you're good to go we're gonna go back to uh, all posts here for a second and take a look and view our new post and that is what it looks like right now so in the next video, we're going to create a blog archive page so that we can show our, uh, sort of segregate out our blog posts from the, the main page that we're going to be creating. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and other social media. Thanks.